Hey what's up guys and welcome back for another amazing video and this is all about how to play Tomb Raider games in the right order. It's an action adventure video game series. If you are just starting out then this is the perfect chance for you to get into the franchise in the best possible manner. So without any further ado let's get started guys. So I wanna point out that the games are divided into three distinct timelines which can be overwhelming for new players. However I'm here to simplify things for you and make it easier to understand there are two orders to follow if you want to stick to the storyline the chronological order is perfect for you but if you don't want to bother yourself just follow the release date order without wasting any more time let's jump first to the chronological order by the way following this order can be a challenging task since tomb raider games are split into three timelines the original timeline legend timeline and survivor timeline. Starting with the survivor timeline may be the easiest option for new players as it's available on current gen consoles where you have to start with Tomb Raider of 2013. Even though it's technically the 10th main game in the series, the 2013 reboot of Tomb Raider is an idea starting point for new players. Allows you to embody the young Lara Croft, age 21, who will have to survive on an island following the shipwreck. To do this, she will have to feed, hunt, but also pay attention to the threats hanging over her. Rise of the Tomb Raider of 2015 A direct sequel to the 2013 reboot raises the stakes and is widely considered the best game in the franchise so far. Take place a few years after the events of the first game where we find the heroine more mature and marked by the epic she has gone through. Shadow of the Tomb Raider of 2018 Set a year after Rise of the Tomb Raider so it's the next title featuring the famous Lara Croft, third and last opus of the trilogy. The latter will offer us to dive into more complex adventures than the others. Puzzles, dangers and other joys will be there. So after experiencing the modern survival trilogy timeline, you might want to go back to the roots of the series. So it's time to explore the original timeline. Start with Tomb Raider of 1996. This original core design class Classic, definitely worth playing. Lara Croft begins her adventure in Peru in search of an artifact. The object turns out to be an Atlantean origin. The quest therefore begins to find the other's artifacts and above all to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. Tomb Raider 2 of 1997. Following the first game, the beautiful Lara Croft is back. At her side, you are off to discover the secret of the Dagger of Shion. Legend has it that whoever discovers it will gain the power of the dragon provided they plunge it into their hearts. Tomb Raider 3 of 1998 In this one you go in search of four mysterious artifacts shaped in the rock of an ancient meteorite. Avoid numerous traps, solve new puzzles and face a horde of bloodthirsty enemies. Tomb Raider The Last Revelation of 1999 The final revelation on PlayStation is a third person platform game. Climbing search in activating levers and fighting enemies. These are the fundamentals on this fourth installment of the adventures of Lara Croft which take place in the heart of the Pyramid of Egypt. Tomb Raider Chronicles of 2000 So this is the fifth game. The adventure lives on in the memory of Lara friends, each level representing a memory of one of the characters encountered in the first four games. Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness of 2000 2003. Completing the original timeline, the Angel of Darkness picks up directly after the last revelation in Chronicles, in which we find the famous Lara Croft. She is wrongly accused of the murder of her former mentor and must flee. In this chase, she will confront a secret society whose aim is to control the world. Finally, guys, let's move on to the Legend timeline, which starts with Tomb Raider Anniversary of 2007. Although it's the second game in the the Legend Trilogy. This remake version of the original game takes place prior to 
both Legend and Endward takes up the very first episode of Lara Croft's adventure to give it a second life. Both in terms of graphics and gameplay, we discover Peru, Greece or even Egypt. Tomb Raider Legend of 2006 Legend is a soft reboot which feels smoother and more modern than the original timeline, but less brutal than the survival timeline. It's a middle ground trilogy, where the famous explorer Lara Croft, who sets out in a search of one of the most precious treasures in the world, a weapon that can bring both peace and conflict to the world. Finally, Tomb Raider and the World of 2008, the eighth episode of Lara Croft's adventure. The explorer tries in this new opus to understand the mysterious disappearance of her mother. She must then get her hands on Thor's hammer and face all demons. So, picks up whatever timeline interested you more. Now, to make things easier, I will provide you with a release date order. You can simply pause the video and take notes. And that's pretty much all of it. I've tried my best to avoid spoilers as much as I can. And I will continue to update this list as more games become available. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel, like the video and make sure to leave a comment if you have any other recommendations. Because I'm looking forward to bring you more gaming content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day everyone.